you know, before I ran for, for, for governor, I was uh, you know a small business owner mm -hmm. within the state. You know, and Maria's been an entrepreneur for 25 years. Uh, that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just know how difficult it is, and you have this love and passion and and this desire for your community. That's really what drives this, and uh, to take care of your families as well. So I know the sacrifices, I know the, the worry, but also the celebrations and the blessings. DHCD, which is the Department of Housing and Community uh, Development, they have grants and they have um, uh, loan opportunities. There's one right now called the Boost. Good, yes. awesome. <laughs> yes. thank you, yep. thank you very much. Fantastic team very responsive and super efficient. So thank you to your office for that. Thank you. Yeah. I, I think when we came on board, we brought a lot of personal experiences into how do we think about greater level of support. Mm -hmm. We always talk about how when businesses are starting, the first thing you go to is your, your like friends and family round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, but not all of us have the same friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have people who are literally taking huge risks, tapping into their savings, tapping into their retirement in order to do something that the community wants society needs mm -hmm. and can be feeling for the individual, but it's not simple. We've actually just appointed the first ombudsman for MBEs in the history of the state of Maryland. Wow. And so literally when we're talking about someone who was there to help guide people through these processes, the permitting and all kinds of stuff, getting things sped up, understanding which contractors yes. to go through and not, we're gonna do our part because it matters to us that you all are successful.